welcome. My name is Lexi Jong and here I like to talk about luxury makeup. Today I thought we would go ahead and play with some classic Chanel makeup. This eyeshadow quad here is the Tisse Essentielle, which is actually new to me. So I thought we would try this out. I also picked up the Chanel Jersey blush and I picked this up a couple of months ago, right before they switched to new formula. So this is the old formula. Thought we would try that out and play with some other Chanel classic items and just do a quick get ready with me. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so for foundation today, I'm actually, I'm trying to decide if I want to purchase the Chanel CC cream. And so I have a little sample here that I'm going to test out. So I've worn this a few times and I just, I haven't made up my mind yet. So I'm gonna use the Koyoto F04 brush. So this is the CC cream, and I would say that this has built up to about medium coverage, and that's probably about as far as you can really get with the CC cream. And yeah, I mean, you can see that actually color-wise, it's this is shade 10. This is a better match for me it's, than the shade 10 is typically in the foundations. Usually the shade 10 is a little bit more yellow than it is in the CC cream. The CC cream is slightly more neutral. And you can see that it's got a little bit of that like pearly finish to it. So this is the CC cream and let's dust it with some powder. So I also have a sample of the loose powder. This is shade 10. You can see it made a little bit of a mess opening it. And um, let's go ahead and try this out. So I'm just taking the Beautylish Lunar New Year brush. I'm trying to get the stuff that's on the sides here. And I'm just gonna kind of work this into the bristles a little bit. So I don't have like a ton poured on my face all at once. It's making a huge mess, honestly. So this is the CC cream with the powder. And, you know, I'm not sure how much I like them together. You can see that it looks a little patchy-ish here. So we're gonna let that sit and see what it does. And let's go ahead and move on to eyes. All right, so this is Tisse Essentiel. I have opened this before and I, I guess I forgot to put back the tray and stuff, but I purchased this actually a few months ago and I haven't gotten around to using it yet. So this is number 266. It is not a new quad. Let me go ahead and swatch the shades. So these are the four shades here. And they go in smoothly. They look like a really nice neutral everyday kind of option here. So for the shades, this first one here, we have a medium tone brown and there's some warmth in here. So it's slightly warm. And then this second shade is more of a cream shade and you know it it's it's a cream it's an ivory um there's a little tiny bit of like that yellowish tone to it but not much it's really more white with a palest touch of yellow in my opinion and then this shade here is going to be a tan shade and it's pretty neutral but leans slightly warm and then last up we have a really deep chocolate brown and this one has cooler tones to it. So let's go ahead and try these out. So I'm going to take the KJH number 10 into the tan shade here. We're just going to kind of put this on. You can see how much powder comes up at once. And I don't have any primer or anything on today. And then I'm gonna take the ESM W36 into the deepest shade here. And I'm just gonna use this kind of out here in the outer corner. And I'm gonna just kind of stamp it right here, like curling into the crease. So I'm wiping off that W36 and I'm just gonna kind of blend that part into the crease, just a touch. And just kind of feather out or feather in rather the deepest shade. 
All right, next I'm taking the Sony G Soft Shader into the Ivory shade, and I'm gonna put this on the inner third here. You can see that this one really like kind of blends in well with my skin tone. I could easily use this as like a base on the lid to kind of just help camouflage. Same brush, I'm gonna go into the first brown shade here and let's just put this from the middle over. I think I picked up, so I picked up more this time. All right, and to line the eyes, I'm gonna take the Stilo Ombre A Contour in number 12. This is Contour Claire. And just, this is not gonna give like a ton of pigment. I mean, it's a lighter shade. Just gonna put that right on the lash line. Just gonna take the tip of the soft shader and just kind of blend the edges of that a little bit. All right, I'm just gonna add a little bit of this to the outer third on the lower lash line. And again, I'm gonna take the soft shader and kind of buff that out a little bit. All right, so just to show you what Contour Claire looks like, put that here. You can see how it kind of goes with this. And this is going to be, you know, it's a warm brown shade as well. It's medium. It's like a deeper shade of this one, essentially. Now for a mascara, I wouldn't say it's necessarily a classic, but this is the Chanel Le Volume de Chanel in the limited edition shade 120 Metal Terracotta. And this is coming to the end of its you know life expectancy. So I wanna make sure to use this one up before I open something new. All right, so for brows, I don't have something from Chanel for brows, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the new Dior Show Kabuki Brow Styler. I have shade 011, and it has kind of like this triangular shape applicator, and on the other side, it has the, the cutest little brush. So I'm going to use this real quickly. All right, so these are the eyes up close. And, you know, let's take a look at the powder. I still don't really like how that looks. So I'm going to try to buff something into that and see if maybe it, it looks a little bit better. I'm going to start by trying to buff in more of that powder and just see whether or not it's the powder per se or the application method. So I'm going to take the Sonia G Face One and I'm just going to get some powder on the brush. Just kind of that in a little bit and buff this in. All right, so I'm just not really happy with the way those things are, are layered. I'm gonna stop playing with them for now. We're gonna move on to blush. I'll apply some finishing powder later and hopefully that will help disguise any like, you know, patchiness. I think when I was buffing that though, I disturbed the CC cream. You can see that I don't have as much coverage as I did before. So probably not the best idea there. Okay, so for blush, we're gonna go in with the Jersey blush, and I'm just gonna go ahead and use this Lunar New Year brush again. I did wipe it off, and I'm just gonna get some blush here, and let's just brush this on. So you can see on me, it almost works more like a bronzer. <laughs> so the blush bronzer combination. So here's Jersey, I have to say, it really is a beautiful shade. It's everything that everyone has always said. 
I really like it. And for highlight, I think this is a classic Chanel highlight, in my opinion. It's my favorite. It is the Duo de Camellia, and it's technically limited edition. It's been around for a couple of years. You have this gorgeous like white gold and yellow gold. Let me just swatch these for you. So you've got these two shades here, and I'm gonna put these on my hand actually because I wanna swatch some eyeshadows there. And just look at those shades, they're gorgeous. And then let me show you what it looks like mixed. So here's both shades mixed together. And usually I use them mixed and I just use a light fan brush. And I think, let's go ahead and do that today as well. So I'm just gonna take the rougher 20 and I'm just gonna kind of get a little bit of powder all over here and just a little bit on the apple. Look at that sparkle. You know, I think I'm actually happy without adding finishing powder. So I'm going to back you out and let's take a look at this and see what kind of lip to go with today. This is the final look from a distance. And I have to say, these are fantastic neutral shades. So they remind me of Claire Obscure. So I do want to swatch those and compare them. But this is kind of like a lighter version of it and slightly less warm, if I recall correctly. So let me grab those and we're going to swatch them before we figure out lips. So I actually want to swatch a couple of them. This one here is number 352 Elemental. So we're going to take a look at this one. Now I have to say Elemental is a beautiful quad but it doesn't show up super well on me. So you can see this one has more like beiges. You've even got this like dusty rose kind of shade here. This one looks kind of like a lighter, more shimmery, like more pearly version of this shade. This one down here is also like a much lighter version of this deeper shade. So it's a little bit cooler, but this one's really pretty neutral. And this last shade here is more peachy. So these, you know, they're nice. I prefer these though, um, just because th this formula, it, it's not really the formula. I have other quads in the same formula that show up better, but this combination of pigments and the formulas of worth, these just don't show up that well on me. And part of it's my coloring. And then we have number 308, Claire Obscure. And this is a classic, a true neutral classic palette all mattes from Chanel and here's Claire Obscure versus Tisse Essentiel. So you can see that you have quite a few similarities. Claire Obscure is going to be a little bit warmer. You can see that the browns are a little bit warmer. Even this deeper brown is slightly warmer than this, but you can see that they are going to be fairly similar. This shade is going to be a deeper, warmer version of the first shade here. You have this more beigey shade, which is similar to this. And then in Tisse Essentiel, we have a cream instead of this shade. So I'm just gonna put Tisse Essentiel right here with these as well. Okay, so here's Tisse Essentiel, and let's go ahead and we're just going to put these nearby. So this is the first shade in Tisse Essentiel, so you can see how those go. I'm gonna put the cream right here at the bottom because that's different. You can see that that's going to really blend it with my skin tone down here. And then this one is this third shade here. We're going to put that one right here. You can see it's going to be a little bit warmer, actually. And then the last shade, let's put that directly below. And again, you can see that that's actually... I thought the other one was slightly warmer, but yeah, no, um, Tisse Essentiel is slightly warmer than in the deepest shade than Claire Obscure. But you can see that the palettes themselves are fairly similar. So even though these quads are fairly similar, one of the differences is going to be the formula. So these are a more of a baked formula. They don't, I mean, you don't really have any issues like building it up or getting pigment on your brush. It's not like hard in the pan or anything like that. But overall, the finish of them is a little bit softer than that in Claire Obscure. 
Um, so Clear Obscure goes on just slightly more pigmented than these do, but as you can see, I had absolutely no trouble getting pigment from any of these shades. They're just technically a softer wash of color in general compared to the Clear Obscure palette, but I think they are both great neutral options, great for every day. They are fairly close, so do you need both? Probably not. Now, oftentimes when I go with these more classic neutral shades on the eyes, I really like to do a bold red lip, but I thought today let's go with another classic shade from Chanel and we're going to use a nude. This is Chanel Adrienne, which is number 402 in the Rouge Coco line. So before I put that on, I'm going to add a little lip liner. And I'm going to use number 162 Nude Brun. If you haven't tried Chanel's uh, lip liners yet, these are fantastic. So this is Nude Brun. It's just kind of a neutral brown shade. And I'm not going to be super precise. I want this to be slightly blurred, but you know, I do want to have something around the edges. All right, so you can see I did not color in the entire lip, but I wanted to get the edges and kind of just smear that out a little bit on the lip shade. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in Adrienne. So here's Adrienne. And I love this shade. This is like an easy go-to Chanel shade. I think it's a fantastic lip color. So here is my final look then. And just real quickly, this is the Nude Brun lip liner. I'm just going to put Adrian next to it so you can see that Adrian is going to be a little bit peachier and lighter. So pairing the two of these together gives it a little bit more emphasis. And you can see where I left it a little bit more of my natural lip color in the center. It makes it just look a little bit brighter and my lips look a little bit larger there. So um, yeah, overall, I have to say, I really like this look. I think the Jersey blush is fantastic for every day. It's like definitely one of those like go-to blushes. If you don't know what to wear, pick that. And yeah, for me, it acts kind of like a rosy bronzer. So you can see, you know, even when you're looking at the blush, you don't really see too much, you know, pink in there, but on the skin, it shows a little bit rosier. So just put that at the very bottom here. So this is the Jersey blush. But you can see on my cheeks, you can see a little bit more of that reddish pink in there, and it really emphasizes my cheekbones. The highlight, as I mentioned, this is my favorite Chanel highlighter. So I just think it's so versatile. And yes, I went in a little bit glitzy with it today, but you can actually go in softer with this and pick up a little bit less sparkle if you want. But I love the colors. I love being able to mix the white and yellow gold with it. And I just, I love this particular formula as well. As for the lip liners, as I mentioned, I really love the Chanel lip liners. I have quite a few of them already. Definitely want to pick up some more. And the Stilo Yo that I used today, not Stilo Yo, the Stilo Ombre et Contour in number 12 Claire. Again, that's another classic. And I actually purchased that with the intention of using it with the Claire Obscure Quad. And I think it goes beautifully with this one as well. And, you know, it just helps to open up my eyes a little bit. And you know, adds just the right amount of emphasis around the lash line, in my opinion. As for the neutral shades, I think they are fantastic. I really love them. These are all a matte shade, and they have a slightly different finish than those of the Claire Obscure. It's a little bit softer of a finish. You can see when you look at the pan that, you know, it's got more of that marbled effect there as well. And I really like them. So whether I would pick this or Claire Obscure, you know, honestly, I really like both of them. I can't say I'd pick one for sure over the other, but I think, you know, yeah, they're just, they're both great and you don't really need both. So pick and choose whichever one you want. Now, as for the mascara, Chanel La Volume de Chanel is always a classic. The metal terracotta shade I really like, and I think having something 
more of a brownish tint with this particular look is really, you know, it is personally, it's my aesthetic. It keeps it, everything looking a little bit more natural every day, but you can totally glam this up and add a red lip instead here and black mascara instead, and you can totally amp the whole thing up. So I think, you know, that's a great option here. And then as for the loose powder in shade 10, you know, I've used it a few times. I've also been using shade 12 and I think the powder is okay. I can't say that I love it more than other loose powders that I have. And I don't really like how it sat with the CC cream. I have really been enjoying the CC cream considering picking that up. I think I need to try it one more time and decide, but um, you know, I really like the color of the CC cream. The pearly finish is not always my favorite. Like I like in certain circumstances, but other times I just, I don't want to see any of that pearlescence. So that's kind of why I'm on the fence with it, but I really like the actual product, the consistency of it and the shade of it. So I think it's a really great product but I wouldn't pair this loose powder with it. So I'm gonna play with the loose powder a little bit more with some other products, but based on what I've experienced so far, and again, that's not just today, this, uh, I think, you know, I've been using the 12 for a while, I haven't used the 10 so much, but it just doesn't seem to perform as well as other ones I have, so I think the loose powder is gonna be a miss for me, but the CC cream, um, I really like that one. And I think that is everything. So thank you so much for tuning in today. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I will see you very soon. Have a great day and stay safe and healthy.